First thing, Don, that I was I was told was when when Mark and David were like, let's let's ramp this up, let's do this again. They went up to uh, your place, and uh, they were they were just awestruck that you took this extremely seriously, that you dived back into this character, into this whole idea, this whole role, and you, I mean, you scared the hell out of them. <laughs> Uh, what what made you kind of just latch on to this interesting idea? Because I mean, anyone coming from the outside have been like, oh, "Boy, this is this is a lot of things going on." Do you do you remember everything? And then all of a sudden, who Bo Cunningham's he's he's here, and he's he's a little creepy right now. It, m it must have been fun. Well, um, let's talk. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And uh, I I um, you know the th the three of us really. Um, we're so involved with this project from day one that um, that when they uh, came out to Colorado and we began the interview process to see if this kind of idea would work, um, we kind of all fell into our roles, um, whatever they were, um, really organically. And so it, it immediately when I started getting questioned about it, it, it was it was kind of a a natural thing. I mean, I remember kind of exactly what it was like being on set out in the Mojave Desert. I remember what my attitude was. I remember um, kind of what, you know, kind of organic uh, environmental things that were happening that were kind of inspiring my my attitude and my my character during the, the thing. And then all the stories that I told and when I was improvising my lines were for the most part true stories from my life wow. you know um, and so there's there's stories in there about um, my first time flying and, and different things like that that were actually true so I wasn't really I didn't have to make up anything you know I didn't want to I wanted to have a, a ring of truth and I wanted to and I and I was and I've always been very committed to to this 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 process and to this into this piece of work, so it was it was it's pretty pretty easy for me to slide into it because I was talking about things from my past that were true. You know, they they said something to me that kind of shocked me. They said when they would take a little break or take a cut that first couple of interviews, um, you'd kind of go off to your your own and you you just watch a little baseball. You sit in the corner and kind of chill out and they were kind of freaked out like what the hell is he doing like Don he's, he's off doing something weird but they kind of thought that maybe you were just trying to keep your mind at ease is is that what you were doing just relaxing I, mean, I think that you know that Robert could talk more to this than than me because he just has so much more experience but I think the key to any good performance is relaxation and uh, and if I was like you know going and putting on a ball game or whatever it was I was doing it was probably to just stay relaxed so that I could you know be present and and uh, and, uh, and and feel natural in that unnatural environment to me have lights on microphones cameras it's an unnatural environment now, I've been around that for 30 years of my life on one side or the other of the camera but I think when you're in front of it, you know the key to everything and, and is is relaxation. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, I'd agree, a hundred percent. The more relaxed you are, the better it's going to be. And I would say, in your case, I think maybe you didn't know it, but to keep your mind in the same space, to be then go out and talk about current things, and then I have to get back into the shell of where you were. It's it's difficult to do. I mean, actors. Uh, I mean, the stories are, are legion of what actors go through, uh, you know, to, uh, who's the My Left Foot guy? Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel Day-Lewis. I mean, he lives the, the part 24-7 uh, when he's there. And uh, um, so, yeah, I, I would certainly agree with that. I, my experience is totally the opposite with Don's. Uh, I didn't have any idea. The Our producers... Uh, and I've worked with these guys uh, before on um, a couple of projects. So uh, they said, uh, would you do this? And I, I came over for a day and sat down. And I have no, um, um, my view of politicians, especially at this moment in time, is uh, rather on the low, 
low low side <laughs> so i had no place to, uh, to go for that <laughs> but well, bob you've played politicians quite a bit i mean even like graves now i mean mm -hmm. you you dive into that role kind of spooky it's why it don't you run spooky. Yeah. <laughs> it is kind of spooky isn't it um yeah I, and i saw this film last night for the first time I, i'd never seen it i loved it and i thought i really hated myself which is very good <laughs> and uh well it's what actors do you know you you take what what you start with yourself and try to put that part in there because that's the best you you got and then you you go from there and um, certainly we've seen enough politicians and um, I have a lot to draw from there so can you all talk about last night and watching it I mean it was at the church and and just I mean it's one thing to I think for me to sit in a little room with a little screen it's just myself but how did y'all feel about watching on the screen well, first of all we felt like it was maybe the best presentation from a, a visual point of view that we've seen in any festival so we were really really happy about that and um, and we had a, a great crowd who were very engaged uh, especially afterwards during the Q&A and um, and um, so we love seeing it with a uh, with an audience it's uh, it's a completely different experience because I've I'd seen it you know just you know, on a, t on a TV, uh, you know, or in a, on a soundstage uh, when we were working on it. And then, but to see it with an audience and, and the energy and the reactions is a completely different experience. And, um, and uh, because it contextualizes the piece, you know, and it, and it, and it allows you to uh, have that, that unique audience specific experience that you don't get unless you have a hundred people surrounding you and that are sitting right next to you and, and kind of, um, and getting the full volume of it and and the full energy of it, so it was it's, it's, it was great. I love I like seeing it with an audience. It's the only way to go. In the Q and A, did you have anyone think, oh, I, I lived that time period? I mean, was there any of that? I know that's happened in the past with with what Mark and David have told me. Like, yeah, I know when I watched it, I thought, man, this seems so damn real with all the research elements that were put into the film. It 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 does seem like well, shit. This could have actually been true. Yeah, um, that's one thing that Bob was talking about last night was the, the detail. Um, you know, we feel is is one of the things that really um, makes this film stand up, um, and, 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 and it's and it's unique. You know, there's there was so much work that that Mark and David put into the to the the um, the detail. I mean, there's over 200 Photoshop shot, shots in there that you know are supporting this. This 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 conspiracy or this uh, this story that that did or didn't happen. It 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 really is the detail in it is, and and this is what make or breaks many pictures is people, they just don't have the energy to complete. It's, these are small pictures. If you have a big budget, you have uh, you know a hundred people doing what two guys did on this, which is absolutely amazing when you see the detail in this thing and that. To me, the story, the details, that, that, that's what sells it. And, uh, and all the actors in it, uh, I will say save one, are, are, are very good. I say save one because I don't want to comment on myself. <laughs> Can you, but I, I loved your performance because you did, I mean, you were, you're exactly who, I, I feel like that's exactly what would have happened if we, they got to talk to a real politician and they, they got to dive into it, you would have been exactly, I mean, that person would have been exactly the same way. I mean, did you model yourself at, after anyone specific or, or No, it's just, uh, you know, generally I think the best politicians are people who know how to talk to people. That's what they do all the time. They're always on. They're always raising money. They're always telling you what you want to hear. They, they, they're, they're really slimy <laughs> and I don't they're they're good politicians God knows I would hate to do it but it, you got to have those people but um, you, th you hope some of them have a heart underneath all of that but um, it, it really wasn't actors get into the psychologies of people and the psychology of a politician is really very easy to me to figure out I mean their goals are to raise money the goals are to get 
to get uh, the other person on their side. And how do you do that? Friendly, you know, the hail fellow well met sort of thing. And, uh, you know, uh, fortunately or <laughs> unfortunately, that seems to be easy for me to do. And Don, I've got to ask, um, is it weird to see two versions of yourself, to see the old version? I mean, it, is it surreal to be in this spot? Um, yeah, it, it is a little bit. You know, I thought it would be stranger, and, and I've never been one that's enjoyed seeing myself or hearing myself, you know. Um, but, but, but I was so proud of the way the film came out that I had no issues with it whatsoever. And, and so um, it's funny. Some people think that it was a makeup job, that it was different actors, or that it was a digital effect. And uh, and very few people, most people find it very hard to believe that that, that actually took place over the course of 25 years, and that we that, that we utilized this short film that we made uh, back then to uh, as the archival kind of component of this. But uh, no, it's 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 fun, and and because that process was such a um, unique and and fun experience for us back when we originally made it, it was great to. To, you know, I actually had the original costumes sitting in a storage <laughs> bin, and they were like, "Hey, do you still have this stuff?" And I did, and we everybody just hopped right back into the suits. You know, they bought me a wig, and and we were off to the races. You know, and when we had to do some reshoots, and you know, because we recreated some of the black and white stuff, uh, and we we brought another capsule out to the desert, and for um for certain scenes, and it was it was great. It was great to go back into it, and. Uh, and uh, and and kind of recreate something that we had done that that long ago, and then to see the result of it, I mean, it looked looks fantastic, and and so I was very very I was thrilled to see it. You know, I, it's it, 25 years is such a long time to to wait for something like that, but timing wise, it seems almost perfect in a um, atmosphere of fake news that this is the film that's that's here at this festival is that seems serendipitous, but it almost it's. Can you comment on just how how crazy that is? That yeah, it I mean, connects? we never really know when you make a film where where in time it's going to land, and so for it to land now, exactly now, is is serendipitous, as you said, and it's also uh, kind of tragic and uh, and and uh, and and unique in that um, you know that we're dealing with serious people and serious issues that um, where we've got people that are given great power that are completely being irresponsible with it. And we're seeing more and more of it even in our own industry with the Weinstein crisis and, uh, and the various uh, you know, directors and producers that are have been um, acting out and properly and we're seeing it with our president. We're seeing it on so many levels. Uh, of these people that are abusing the power that the privilege of power that they've been given and so from for this film to have you know th thematically be involved in that it's it's a, it's it's touch and go and that's why it's important that people see this film for what it is and and tr and can make the leap of um, that it's that it's in, an indictment of that as opposed to supporting <laughs> supporting that kind of behavior, you know. And uh, but it's interesting that it that that, and I think that that's why we feel that we've we've struck a tone and that it is timely, and that we because because of of what's happening in, in current affairs right now. Yeah, I would certainly echo that. <clears throat> We're in a very unique time in history, and it's. Uh, you know, you look back, there's not this time in history, there's 9-11, there's the uh, uh, Vietnam War, and um, those, those are, hopefully, hopefully we respond to this as time goes on in a positive way, and we can pull together more, because I've never seen, um, and we're getting, I'm getting off the topic here a little bit, but, uh, this um, um, this movie is just an example and happens at a wonderful time, but there's something to be learned from this uh, uh, movie. There, there was a, in the Q&A last night, 
some we asked is I guess these guys ask at all um, the film festivals how many of you thought this was real right. and a few tentative hands come up and I was <laughs> telling uh, somebody last night that uh, I wonder how many hands didn't go up because they were a little embarrassed <laughs> <laughs> right. and uh, you know that's in the point of it is that when you're told something there's a visceral reaction for some people. Be sure you know what the real facts are and do your own checking to make sure that that is exactly what somebody out there wants you to believe. Mm. And we're getting a lot of that. I mean, they're outright lies that are so, um, so uh, apparent mm -hmm. and people are just buying it. And you wonder, and then they sort of know that they're being lied to, but that's okay. I mean, it, for some reason, that's okay. And it's, it's, it's not okay, especially when you get up to the levels that it, it's, it's being perpetrate at, perpetrated at. So um, anyway, I don't want to belabor that. Well, I'd, I'd love to, to, to look at the fact that we're, we're in Texas and it's, we're here in Austin, but I mean, this is a film about the Apollo missions. This is a film that's connected very much to, to Texas with Houston and, and NASA, and um, that's got to be just another element of everything. I know when I was talking to Mark and David that that was what they were really excited to kind of bring it home to Texas. That this very much is the hub of where this type of stuff um, originates from. This is where you know this this in in Florida and NASA puts these things in, into space and that's where you guys are it, it kind of seems like a, a homecoming for it if you will I think part of the film it is certainly you know and and, and having uh, Mark and David uh, grow up in Texas and and be space space nuts and being you know like I mean, we all grew up in that era where we were watching people land on the moon and thought that was the beginning of something you know and I think that the the fact that the that the that Houston and and uh, was was we're we're going there on Monday, yeah. you know, as tourists because we love the space program. But this the sad thing about it is it was only a three year period where we landed on the moon, and it, and, and, it, and it was over, you know. And next thing you know, they're sending up shuttles. I mean, we were talking about it on the way back from the screening last night. And it's like, why don't we have a base on the moon right now? Why haven't we been to Mars? Why didn't we continue that exploration? You know, was it because of, uh, you know, because of Nixon, because of Watergate, was there, was the country distracted? Did it look too easy? Did they make it, did they do it so well that it looked too easy? What happened? And, and uh, you know, it's great that this film has been brought home here, but, but you know, in the bigger picture from my perspective is like, you know, why aren't we pursuing it? There were so many benefits that came out of that program and so many benefits that, that, um, to, to society and to technology as a whole, uh, from medicine to uh, in, in things that we take for granted in our everyday lives, computers, uh, uh, the smartphones in our pockets, that um, you know, we, I think we really wish that it had continued. Yeah. And, and, may, and maybe that's one of the reasons we, we brought this out, is to you know, not only show what could happen and the dark side of it, but also how, what an achievement it was. Well, well yeah. it's... Um, <clears throat> it's a shame because I think uh, some of the uh, re one of the reasons why it wasn't pursued more is the accidents that happened you know that uh, people perished doing this so they wanted to that was a black mark on uh, NASA not, not that they did anything wrong it's just what happens, these are very uh, dangerous uh, things. One little thing goes wrong and so I think they pulled it back for that and uh, then we got distracted with other things. But um, <clears throat> Don is absolutely right. The, when people say, well, there are people starving here and there's, there's lots of people who need help right away to stay alive, you can't neglect, and it's true, but you can't neglect uh, this cutting edge stuff. To, you have to do that because it's so important 
as Don was saying, there, there, there are medical things involved with, there's technology that we enjoy that really furthers us in, in some circuitous way, comes back to help those very people in other ways that we're not even familiar with. So, I mean, I'm a little bit older than these guys, but I remember when they were out landing on the moon and I'm in a car with this year I got married in 1969 and I'm listening to a portable radio out my window in a truck getting a furniture to take back to my new apartment with my new wife and um, I'm listening to guys on the moon on this radio and I'm thinking this is crazy <laughs> I mean this is nuts and now look what we're doing I mean uh, People are. You got a watch that you can listen to. It's Dick Tracy. It's uh, it is quite something. Well, I'd, I'd love to end it, guys, by um, you know, since you guys are, are from the outside coming into Texas, I know Mark and David obviously love this place, but you guys had a nice little dinner last night, Capitol Grill, some good Texas beef. Can you guys uh, tell me what you enjoyed about Capitol Grill? Oh, that was a, a really nice place. Uh, it was. Uh, I love the. Uh, the paintings mm -hmm. of the uh, Texas luminaries uh, looking down on uh, uh, upon us, uh, politicians mostly, of course. I, I don't think it's as quite as interesting as the artwork in here with the uh, cattle drive all around us. Yeah. But um, you know, Austin is such a is, is such an amazing place. Um, I think uh, we were talking about this on the way in and how it's become probably one of the top three or four cultural hubs in this country now for film, music, technology, um, you know, driven by, you know, South by Southwest and by uh, Austin City Limits and by, but you just look around and you see how many great venues there are. And like last night I saw uh, Jimmy Vaughn and, uh, and Gary Clark Jr. at a little bar, 50 people in it, you know, yeah. and it was, it was like this roadhouse and it was a great scene. It was a cool place and I met some really nice people and and people were engaged and involved in so many excellent things and there's a big book fair coming through so it's just it's such an amazing cultural place and so you're going to an old you know kind of a classic place like that grill was was really fun and uh, uh, you know it, it was really I really enjoy every time I, I get the privilege of coming down here well guys I, I really appreciate the time um, it was a pleasure to watch you guys on the screen and uh, Landing was one of my favorite films of the festival, so oh, I you. really appreciate you guys thank coming you. down.